Okay, guys, so um, I've just filmed my uh, one of my June hauls. I'm now going to do my wish haul, and um, more or less the same with um, my wish haul. Um, these are the packages. Um, had them for ages in the bin bag. Um, now I know that all of these are more or less the same as well because they're all from the same sender. I can feel that they're the same. Um, so what I'm going to do is, as I said, same with the June haul. I'll open all these ones up, see how far we've got, um, and then we'll delve in and grab another one. So in the past, off the internet, off the um, Primer website, I ordered this. And I ordered some Primer Glitter eyeshadows. Now this was quite expensive in itself. Um, the case was like about fifteen pounds. It's a magnetic case, and the um, um, eyeshadows were about five pound each. So five, ten, fifteen, twenty. There's twenty-five pounds worth of eyeshadows there, and they are the glitter shadows. Oops, I almost hit my mouse then and we could have had a terrible disaster. So I shall just quickly show you and get back into this. Ah. Okay, so this is um your turning of violet. They they name these some really awesome names. And look, it's gone and got stuck. Okay, so these are like gel glitter eyeshadows, like this. And you don't need to have a glitter fix or a uh, gl glitter fix and gel thing or anything. They just go on really, really nicely. See? So. When I was on Wish, I saw some glitter ones that I thought, I'm going to get those because if it will save me a bit of money, and they look more or less the same as those, then that's brilliant. So, in these packages, I have got some. One, two, three, four... Five, where's that one gone? Five and six. Pardon me. So I ordered six from Wish, and now with these, you can take them out of the plastic, um, and they come in little magnetic containers that sit in here. So I've ordered TZ Cod. Cod, cod cosmetics single eyeshadow pan and it comes with eyeshadows in it i've got a q17 a q24 a q21 which is a sticker over it so when we open it we'll be able to see it a q22 which we can't see a Q29, I love that one, and a Q18. Now hopefully these will stick into my primer case, so it's very expensive, and hopefully they are just as good as these. So this is the purple here from the primer. Um, I think I'm pronouncing it right. It's primer.co.uk, uh, I think, I can't remember. Um, I will put it in the link down below though. They are very, very expensive. So if you're not wanting to spend too much money, I don't advise that you obviously buy the uh, real ones. So we're gonna open these up. I'm intrigued, I can't remember what colors some of them are because they didn't put them in where I could see them. So they come in a little wallet thing like this and inside they then come in another little wallety thing and they come in a little pan hopefully the magnet on this pan oh it's got q18 on the bottom so when you take them out of the packaging um 
you still know what queue it what what queue it is <laughs> what number it is if you want to reorder it so let's get one of the primal ones out and we can compare what they look like we'll go for the purple one because that's the one that i have already opened whoa okay so the this is the primer one and this is the wish one so obviously they're not the same color but uh, we we're just getting them out to compare the pans the pans look more or less the same um the glitters look really nice almost the same as the primer ones let me just see if it will stick in my yes it does it magnetizes to it that is brilliant so let me just put this purple one away so we've all seen how nice the purple one goes on let's see if these are as gel e fied and see if they go on as well now i can really feel the glitter pigment in that when i put my finger across it and that is how the glitter comes out now let's have a look oh wow yes they do they go on more or less the same you won't need a fixing gel now you can either use your finger for these or a brush it does stay on your finger a little bit more than the primer ones do um, but that is the goldy coppery I think we'd call it a copper more so that is that one oh pardon me and that was q18 let's do this one next it looks like it's a bit of a pinky light or a light lilac -y color oh that's nice and that is that one let's do a c i've got a brush here well obviously i have got a brush here I've got loads of makeup brushes in front of me. What was this one used for? I don't know. Let's see how well they go on with a brush. So the brush has got a bit of glitter on it. Oh no, they do still go on nicely with the brush, but I'm just going to use my finger because I get a bit more of a uh, thicker lot with it. So that is the pinky lilac -y one. I like that too uh where did i put the packaging for that that was a q24 mystery q17 oh this is quite a darky kind of one. Oh, i like that oh this is like a a dark kind of copper which is that one there i'm not finding that the glitter's falling off or anything which is really good these are almost as good quality as the um primer ones that i paid a lot of money for this is q21 oh this would have done lovely for christmas it's a nice ready kind of color Oh, look at that. That is that one. It's nice. Now I am finding that obviously they are going on pretty well, but the primer ones I find... Um... Are a little bit more kind of gooey but as i said look they're all still going on pretty well as as well as the primer one i'm gonna save what looks like my favorite one till the end because it looks all mermaidy so this is q22 and it's another mystery huh 
Q21 and Q22. So this is Q21 and this is Q22. They almost look the same. This one is more browner than this one. Yeah, definitely. I can actually tell the difference now. It is a lot darker. So let's have a look at this one. Ooh. And you can definitely tell the difference when you put it on. Oh, just wipe it on my trousers. Sod it. Okay, so this was, this was the Q21 and this is the Q22. It's definitely a lot browner. Um, I now have it up my nail. See? When my partner gets back from work, he's just going to see that I'm covered in glitter and swatches. He's going to wonder what I've been up to. And now, what looks to be my favourite one is this one. Just look at that. So this is a Q29. Oh, I am loving that. Look at that, guys. So let's see what this goes on as. This looks like very mermaidy. Oh, the texture of this one is gorgeous. So we're going to put this one over the top. Uh, oh, my life. I love it. <gasps> Look at that. Oh, I love it. Absolutely love that one. Oh, wow. That definitely by far is my favourite. And it is a Q29. So that is all of those. Love it, love it. So yeah, um, I'm pretty happy with those. As I said, they are obviously a lot cheaper than these ones. Um, so, but at least they all fit in there with that, which is really good. Uh, pardon me. Um, so yeah, I'm I'll, I'll sit there and put all those in there later pardon me goodness me right uh this is the one with all the wish stuff in so let's just grab something out of here oh what was that things are falling down underneath my desk um i know i have a couple of ebay things in here as well so let's try not to grab an eBay thing. We'll grab this one. This is packed very well. Okay, so this is a very small bottle. It says born pretty soak off gel polish five mil opal milk gel so this is a nail gel yeah definitely looks quite milky smells absolutely vile I'm not going to try it out on my nails because my nails have been done. So yeah, so that's all I'm going to do for the wish haul today. Um, sorry if you guys have found this one boring, but uh, you know, as I said, same as the June one, I ordered all of those at the same time. I could tell what they were, so I just thought, you know, get it all done at once. Um, so yeah, I shall be back pretty soon with some more hauls for you guys get through what i've already got and as i said i did order a couple of things the other day um to um mainly uh a few things for the baby um so yeah so i'm going to be doing a pregnancy update video probably in the next few minutes you know just get them all done at the same time um whilst i've got the enthusiasm and stuff to do them um if you have seen my gym haul, you will see at the beginning I started to talk about why I haven't really been on YouTube that much. Um, so I will do a video on 
what I was trying to explain and say um, at some point without hopefully offending some people because I know quite a few people are probably going to watch that video and probably get offended by it but I don't mean to offend but obviously if you get offended by it then you're probably obviously one of the fakes <laughs> I'm joking um, so anyway I shall love you and leave you um, don't forget to keep safe keep your family close and safe out of harm's way have a look at my lovely glitteriness the bear and I shall see you all very very soon um, see you later thanks for staying tuned and watching me <laughs> bye